Well, a plane is in mid-flight, and suddenly there's an emergency. A high-tech system takes over, and in a first, lands the plane safely. This really happened. It happened, in fact, over the weekend. Senior transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve has more now on the high drama that unfolded. This is dash camera video from a fire truck as it races to this small plane moments after the Beechcraft King Air landed itself Saturday afternoon outside Denver. The two people on board walked away from the plane as firefighters pulled up. But less than an hour earlier, shortly after taking off from Aspen, there was a problem. We lost pressurization. Controllers tried repeatedly to reach the pilots before hearing this. Pilot incapacitation. Emergency auto land in 19 minutes on runway 30. The plane was equipped with this Garmin auto land system. Flight instructor Adam Lendy shot this video after the plane landed. It's a great piece of technology. It's going to save a lot of lives. CBS News was first to see this technology in action while it was being approved by the FAA in 2019. The system can auto activate or someone in the cockpit can engage it. The button's right there. If something were to happen to our pilot here and I pushed it, it would get us safely on the ground at the nearest airport. Once on, the plane picks the closest airport where it can safely land. It radios the tower, declares an emergency, and updates passengers on the landing. We tried it with Garmin test pilot Eric Sargent. I would put my family in here in a heartbeat and be confident that if they pushed the button, if I wasn't around, that it would get them down safely. Now, the company that was operating this plane says the system activated automatically because of that loss of cabin pressure. It adds its pilots were not incapacitated despite that automated message, but because of the complexity of the situation, opted to let the system do its job. The FAA is now investigating.